Hi everyone, welcome to the first edition of I'll Watch News. I'm Fred Gordon. And I'm Shay Patton. I hope everyone's ready for a brand new school year. On today's show, we'll cover the construction on the 1012 side, and we'll talk to the sophomores about their first impression on the new side. Plus, we're going to see what's going on with the district champs. Yep, you guessed it, cross country team. But first, here's an update on the construction on the 1012 side. Hi, I'm Fred Gordon, here with Mr. Warner, principal at CHSI. Um, so, Mr. Warner, how's the new building and, and extra stairwells coming out? Well, the construction has come a long way since last May when y'all left us. Uh, a lot of things have happened. A lot of rooms got opened up. Um, you know, it's interesting. There is going to be a lot of more access to different floors through stairwells in the near future, maybe around... Uh, maybe around October or so. But when they open up the front of the building, which is the new office area, they're also going to open up a stairwell at, on the second floor that's going to lead from the rooms by the science rooms, like by Miss Hill's room. You'll just be able to walk, walk straight ahead toward uh, Judge Perez, and you'll be able to take a right and walk down a hallway that'll get you up to the 280s, the new classrooms. And there's a stairwell involved in that and so forth. That'll be open. We're also going to open up the, the main stairwell in the, in the uh, building that was originally the college area building. Uh, that, was, that should be open, too, in about, about the same time. That, that by, by Thanksgiving, that would maybe open. And uh, that'll give us another area to go upstairs uh, using that stairwell. You know, but there are stairwells around. We just haven't quite gotten um, the okay to use them. Uh, but there may be some other ones that can open up pretty soon. As far as the building goes, um, the second floor of the band and shop building is open now. Uh, new restrooms in that one. And we have, uh, you know, the band, the band possibly could move in at the beginning of November. Shop's going to be a little bit longer, maybe February. But uh, so in the middle of the school year, a lot of things will be open. A lot of the old math area will be open, too, by that time. So um, things are starting to happen quickly. We have a new TV studio going in, and it should be a wonderful uh, opportunity for our students uh, to, to get involved in TV at that point. Uh, that new studio is supposed to be in somewhere around February. Uh, we'll have to see construction. Sometimes they're early, sometimes they're late. But, uh, you know, things are really happening. By May, I hope to have, you know, be able to s sit before you and tell you that, for the most part, everything is done. You know? So it's going to be an interesting year as far as construction goes. Do you have any, um, do you think that it'll have a good effect on the crowded hallways? Absolutely. The hallways should clear up. Once we start opening up some of those areas, it should really, op it should clear everything out. And, uh, you know, I just want to say one more thing, if I could. I want to thank all of our students for helping us during this time. Uh, some of you have been in school, the whole time you've been in school, we've had these major construction everywhere. Uh, it hasn't really been a problem for anybody uh, too much. Uh, we've had occasions where, you know, we didn't have electricity or there was no water. Or, uh, you know, bathrooms got closed all of a sudden, that type of thing. Uh, but our student body has been great about all of that. And, uh, you know, a lot of good things happen at Shaman High School, and they all happen because of the students and the teachers we have here. And, you, you know, I, I really do appreciate everybody's help with that. And it's been going very well. And the end is in sight. At the end of this year, I think we'll be finished with construction. Well, thank you, Mr. Warner. Thank you for your time. The construction's coming along really well, don't you think? Yes, it is, actually. But until it's finished, fellow owls, let's be patient in those hallways. Now to the sophomores. Let's get their reactions to the 1012 side, and we'll give them some advice from the upperclassmen. Hi, I'm Shay Patton, and I'm here with sophomore Cornell Gordon. So, what was your initial reaction to the 1012 side? Um, it's very crowded, and there are a lot of tall people, and like it's hot. <laughs> 
So was anything particularly overwhelming or exciting? Um, yeah, they got a lot of big people on this side. So like I gotta look up to them when I walk on the hallway and like uh, I think the ninth grade side better. <laughs> so you said that the ninth grade side is better. Is there any particular thing that you really miss? Yeah, I miss the teachers. Like I miss Miss Snyder fussing at me about asking her too many questions and Miss Hughes complaining about the class and Coach Morales. And it was it was cold and it wasn't crowded. So this side's definitely a lot warmer. Yeah, it's, it's very hot. <laughs> so if there was one like thing that you thought on this side was better than the ninth grade side, what would that be? The teachers. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm here with sophomore Destiny Jones. So Destiny, what was your initial reaction to the 1012 campus? That it was so many people. Was there anything else particularly overwhelming or exciting? I couldn't get to my classes on time and I still can't. Yeah, it's definitely hard to navigate through. So, what was your favorite part about coming to this side? Just, I don't know, being here with everybody, I guess. How does this side compare to the ninth grade campus? It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. No. Well, thank you so much, and I hope you're enjoying this side. Now I'm here with Zoe Vernon. So, Zoe, what was your initial reaction to the 1012 campus? There's a lot of people over here, and so I guess when you're walking through the hallways, it's a little nerve-wracking because, it's, like, if you get stopped, people yell at you, and, you know, you're just like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is very overwhelming. Was there anything else that was very overwhelming or exciting? Uh, I guess it's exciting to see so many more people because when we're on the other side, we're just kind of secluded. So, like, I like to know people and see them every day is pretty cool. So how does the ninth grade campus compare to the 1012 campus? Well, the ninth grade campus is definitely a lot easier to navigate, and it's a lot less crowded. But um, I think I do think I like it more over here, to be honest. What is your favorite part about this side? My favorite part at this side is probably just getting to be like with everybody else and not have to be like alone on the other side with just the ninth graders. It is very exciting. Well, thank you so much, Zoe. I'm here with sophomore Julia Berry. So Julia, what was your initial reaction to the 1012 campus? It was crowded. I was scared. Was there anything particularly overwhelming or exciting? It's just, I was glad to see all my old friends and I got to meet a lot of new people, so that was good. That's exciting. So how does the ninth grade campus compare to this side? I don't think it really compares, because this side is like, it's so big, but everybody is all packed, so it's not, that much different. What is your favorite part about the 1012 campus? Everybody. Just being here with everybody. It's definitely exciting. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I'm here with junior Daniel Barber. So Daniel, we've been talking to a lot of sophomores today about the 1012 side. Any advice to them? Well, there's just, so um, sophomore year is not that hard. Uh, it's just a step up because you're on a different side. Um, so you just got used to the freshman side, so now you got to get used to this side. But um, you just have to keep moving in the hallways, definitely, because stopping and talking to your friends isn't going to work out. You're going to be late to class. Um, and just do your work. It's, uh, it's not hard. I mean, this year's proven already in, like, the first week that it's going to be a lot harder than sophomore year. So you just got a couple years to go, so you just got to get through it. That's definitely some great advice. Thank you, Daniel. No problem. Best of luck to the sophomores. You should heed the advice, and trust me, you'll make it through. Now to the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's get some insight on the defending district champs, the cross-country team. Hi, I'm Shane Eustace. I'm here with Catherine Ramirez. So, Catherine, is cross-country hard? Sometimes it is. What's the hardest part about it? Speed work. Now, what's speed work? Um, it's running quarters really fast. And uh, how much do you run every day? About two miles. And how do you feel after two miles? Kind of tired. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shane Eustace. I'm here with Brent Bailey. So, Brent, what do you do as the captain of the cross-country team? Um, help coach, you know. I try to solve our day-to-day -day problems and whatever the task is, try to complete it. And when you go to college, do you plan on running still? Um, I mean... If I was fortunate enough to have a coach offer me a scholarship or anybody on the team, you know, I feel just good about it, I guess. So, yeah, 
just to stay fit and healthy, I would. So, yeah. And if you weren't on a team, would you still be running? Yes, definitely. I would use it as a um, workout and to stay healthy, like I said. Now I'm here with newcomer of the cross country team, Noel Norris. So, Noel, is cross country hard? Yes, cross country is hard. W what's the hardest thing about it? Having to do speed work is hard. What do you do with speed work? You run really, really fast until she tells you stop. And uh, how much do you run every day? Like three to four miles. When does that start to get hard? When you can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm here with new cross country runner Anthony Dio. So Anthony, is cross country hard? Um, no, not really. It's kind of, I mean, it depends how hard you work, you know. What's the hardest thing about cross country? Um, probably like the mileage. It's kind of, um, I'm not used to the mileage because I ran track. I'm like a sprinter, but like it helps me more like my endurance, get up more. And uh, what do you mean by your mileage? How, how far do you run every day? Um, more than three miles, try to get up there. Like I, I started off at like one mile, but I kept pushing harder and harder, and now I'm up to, up to three miles, so yeah. Thank you. Now I'm here with cross country captain <laughs> Harry Tyler. So Harry, what do you do as captain of the cross country team? A captain of a cross country team usually shows us up to be like selected leaders for the, um, for the cross country team, and we can be the people that you can come up to for help in any kind of way. What do you do to help out, you mean? Most of what a uh, cross country captain does to help out is help with running techniques if you're not running correctly, or you know power motivation if you can't get through the day within uh, within practice. And um, do you plan to continue running in college? Uh, most definitely, I should be able to start running in college soon after I graduate in Southeastern for track and cross country. And uh, if you weren't on a team, do you think you'd still be running? <laughs> most likely not, to be honest, because. In, way in the beginning, before I even started cross country, I was always like a basketball player, but then I always wanted to get more in shape. And so I decided to start cross country, and then the more practices I went to, like the more I fell in love with the sport each time. Now I'm here with the cross country runner coach. Ms. Joya, you were district champs last year. What are your prospects for this year? Our prospects look really good for this year. With our two sets of tryouts, we've seen in excess of 70 people come out. And so I think uh, from that and our veterans with last year, I think we've got a really good chance to repeat as district champs for both boys and girls. Now, do you think you have any runners at the college level? Um, at the moment, no, but we have a lot of talent that can be developed into some possible college runners in the future. Now, who do you think could be, are the closest to the college level? Well, at this time, we're only just getting started. Listen for the results, you'll know. That makes me want to go out and run five miles, you know. Really? No, not really. But good luck to the team. That's all the time we have for this edition of I'll Watch News. I'm Fred Gordon. And I'm Shay Patton. Thanks for watching. See you next time on I'll Watch News. See ya.